the difference between a decoder system that operates reliably and one that doesn't is frequently in the quality of the wire splices. Because of the sensitive electronics used in a decoder system, the smallest short circuits will cause a malfunction. Splices that are good enough in a conventional system will cause constant service issues when used in a decoder system. Contractors who attempt to save a few pennies by using simpler splices that are on their truck can create service headaches for years to come. Follow the procedures in this video and the manufacturer's guidelines to avoid damage to the system and to your reputation. Always verify that the waterproof splice connectors you choose comply with the National Electrical Code. For use in damp locations, the connector must comply with UL 486D. Here are some important steps to follow when installing decoders. First, leave three feet of slack at each decoder location in a loop. This extra wire accommodates settling, soils, and frost. Otherwise, connections can pull themselves apart over time. Second, avoid nicks to the inner conductors when removing the outer jacket. Score the outside of the outer jacket without cutting through anything. Then bend until it snaps. Then slide the jacket off the conductors. Avoid using a knife. If the cable has a ripcord to aid in removal of the jacket, cut a small notch into the jacket to start the ripcord. Then pull the cord to remove the jacket. Snip off the excess jacket. Strip 3 fourths inch of the end of each conductor using an appropriate tool that won't damage the wire or the jacket. Then twist wires into the wire nut portion of the waterproof splice. The wire nut shown accommodates both 12 gauge and 14 gauge wires common to decoder systems. It's often best to make your connections and then test from the controller before adding the waterproof components. If there are issues, you can resolve them faster. Once you've verified your connections, insert the wire nut ends into the gel-filled connector, taking care to align the wings and the wire nut into the angled slot. Then push the splice all of the way into the waterproofing compound. Then separate out the three wires on the ends into the slots. Then push the lid closed. You will hear a click from the latches on each side. When making wire splices, always place all splices in valve boxes so you're not hunting for them if there's a problem. Install valve tags at each decoder location with zone numbers and other troubleshooting information. Keep a sketch with notes as you go, indicating decoder locations and other information. Better to have handwritten notes than assume you will have time to create a more elaborate plan later. Get the important information written down right away. To aid in the design and installation of decoder-based irrigation systems, Regency Wire and Cable offers a free handbook for professionals that covers electrical system best practices and the best components to achieve them. Download a free copy at www.regencywire.com.